So you've gotten plug-in Hendrix Post Processing. Here's how you can use it. Start by clicking on Button Post Processing Builder when you move your mouse to bottom right area. Now just adjust any settings you want. The tips to make it look good here is to mix multiple effects together. Don't use just one effect. This is creepy. Uh. I'll just play around until I'm satisfied. Now create a new preset to save your settings. I'll name it Default Post Processing. You can just hit Apply Globally without saving a preset and our tutorial is finished. But I want to show you more cool things, so let's save a preset. Clicking Apply Globally will apply your effects to the whole game. To clear the global effects, click Clear Global. Here's a comparison. I cannot live without some bloom effect. Now let's show you how to apply different post-processing preset to different maps. Method 1 is to add post-processing preset name to your map node. This method is quite good, because you can apply to multiple maps without opening the builder, which saves some time. I'll make map 1 to use preset default post-processing. As you can see, only map 1 has post-processing. Let's clear this map node and show you method 2, which will handle everything via the builder. Create the effects you desire and hit button apply locally. Do the same when you're in another map. Now you'll have map 1 and map 2 using different post-processing effects. Local effects is actually a layer 2, while global effects is layer 1. That means the local effects do not replace global effects, it adds more effects to global effects but only for current map. Use this information wisely and be creative with it. With that you've completed the tutorial. Hendrix Post Processing Plugin is available now on sanghendrix.itch.io.